brief about the conditions that led to the rise of nationalism in Europe during the 19th century. Have you seen the Statue of Liberty? It is one of the most enduring symbols of the United States of America. It emerged from the circumstances where the basic rights of people were being denied vehemently. This makes the Statue of Liberty a perfect symbol of freedom. The concepts of liberty, equality and fraternity were touchstones of the French Revolution. This is a famous piece called Universal Democratic and Social Republic by French artist Frédéric Soron. He had visualized a utopian world made up of democratic and social republics. Now, a utopian vision is the vision of a perfect society that is so ideal that it is unlikely to actually exist. If you look carefully, Soron shows people from different countries and all walks of life marching towards the Statue of Liberty, each of them wearing their national costume and carrying revolutionary flags. The countries leading the procession are the United States and Switzerland. They are followed by the French people carrying the revolutionary tricolor. France has just reached the Statue of Liberty. By this time, the revolution had taken place in France. France is followed by the German people with their flag. Other countries of Europe, such as Sicily, Lombardy, Poland, England, Ireland, Hungary and Russia are behind Germany. The rubble in the foreground signifies the end of absolutist institutions and monarchy. Absolutism can be defined as a government or a system of rule with a lot of uncontrolled power. It also refers to an oppressive monarchical government. Another remarkable part of this print is the angels, saints and Christ, who are looking at these groups of people. It seems that they are showering their blessings on them. Soro has used Christ and the angels to emphasize the fraternity among the nations of the world. This print is path-breaking as it reflects the mood of the times and forebodes an era of revolutions that marked Europe during the 19th century. That during the 19th century, Europe was undergoing a phase of transition. The long-oppressed peasantry had begun to question the landed aristocracy and the feudal system. On the other hand, rapid industrialization had given birth to the middle class, consisting of industrialists, businessmen and professionals. In the wake of these changes, the educated liberal-minded middle class wanted to overthrow the absolutist rulers. This mindset of bringing together people